Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I'm here to unmask the myth of what the heck does a GPU really do. You might be surprised to know that a lot of stuff is not accelerated with your GPU. Okay, so I'm going to explore what is and what isn't accelerated, generally speaking, with GPU. But I want to start with the facts first. Everything I'm going to talk about here has been fact-checked with engineers. This is not my opinion. This is not me guessing at things. I've had lots of social conversations about, about this and many people do not believe what I'm about to tell you. I think it's incredibly important to understand, not because GPUs are not useful, they're rocking. And when they are rocking, it's great. But you got to understand what is and what isn't um, uh, accelerated. A GPU is a graphics processing unit and a CPU is a central processing unit. Both of, both of these are chips that calculate things. Each one of them has their own instruction set. And what that simply means is that's the stuff that an engineer writes to to, to be able to use a calculation on that chip. Adobe has to make sure that every single one of their applications can run without a GPU. That's essential. That means if you've got a real old ass laptop that's slow as hell and I've got a super beefed up giant Xeon behemoth, both of us can make the exact same quality content. We can output 4K, 6K, 8K. It's just I'm going to do it a lot faster on a faster computer and an underpowered computer is going to be slower. So that's the first thing. Adobe has to make sure you don't have to have a GPU. But if you add a GPU, it's wicked fast. Let me show you something. Let's look at the data flow of information when you do have a GPU. So right now, as you're calculating in Premiere Pro, it's going through the CPU and outputting and everything's great. You can use all the color correction and effects, but if you happen to have a powerful GPU, now you can send things like the Lumetri uh, color panel into the GPU and it's going to be uh, much faster. If not real time, pretty close to real time. And all of this also works with uh, Media Encoder, which is GPU accelerated. So let's just look in our effects in Premiere Pro at this little button right here. That should tell you something right away. If everything is accelerated just by putting a GPU in your computer, then why the heck would Adobe put a button to show you what is and what isn't GPU accelerated? To me, that's evidence right there. Let's click on this. And well, in, in our case, almost everything, now these are my presets, but almost everything is accelerated. Look at this, all of this stuff is accelerated. Any of these are accelerated. So we'll go into a few more um, specific examples. Now, the other thing you need to turn on in the file menu, project settings, general, right there, GPU acceleration. Adobe turns that on if you have it, uh, if you have a, uh, a GPU that has enough uh, uh, video RAM in it, it, turns that on by default. So you get the benefit of, of that GPU, but only for things that are accelerated. Um, and, and I've had this, this conversation, as I said before, where somebody will say, well, have a look at this, this video on YouTube. Why is that guy's output even faster just by putting in the car? Let's look at this, okay? So what is accelerated? Well, these are the GPU accelerated effects, things like the Lumetri color panel, levels, Gaussian blur, sharpen brightness and contrasts, uh, fast color corrector, three-way color corrector, the warp stabilizer, transform, which is new. Transform is GPU accelerated, but not skew. Well, scale and rotation are already uh, GPU accelerated when it, they're in the effects panel. Transform is a separate way to do scale and rotation. The difference is if you're an After Effects user, you know sometimes you need your transform controls later in the effects path. That's what transform uh, is. It's now GPU accelerated. The ultra key key or basic 3D mosaic crop and SDR conform are all GPU accelerated. Those are useful. So in someone's example, they're saying, hey man, I just stuck in a GPU and everything's faster. Well, there's a chance 
that you're using some of this, even something as simple as scale. You're going from 4K to HD. That's all GPU accelerated. All right, what else? Debayering red files, R3D files, and some Cinema DNG files. These are raw and they used to require something like a red rocket uh, to be able to debayer these with uh, acceleration. Debayering is, is required for anything that's raw. Even if you're taking photographs with a camera that shoots raw, your first thought might be, wait a minute, I have my DSLR set on raw. When I snap a picture, I can see a preview. You're not looking at raw, you're looking at a JPEG preview. The JPEG was created by the camera and it's usually super contrasty, sharpened, saturated. It's not the real raw file. So Adobe made uh, this kind of calculation, the debayering of cinema, some Cinema DNG and uh, red files, uh, GPU accelerated. If you use red files and you don't have a red rocket card, this is a huge speed up. So again, I'm not saying that GPUs aren't useful for this one, holy smokes, it's useful. So how fast is fast? Well, let's talk about the, this is like the be all end all. This is a dual Quadro M6000. How much faster is the card than the CPU? Well, it's 23 freaking times faster. <laughs> now I have to admit, that's a pretty crazy uh, setup to have two M6000s in there, the Quadros, pretty crazy, okay. So where do you get these GPUs? Who are the, the manufacturers? Well, let's have a look. The big ones are NVIDIA and AMD, and both of them have flagship cards. Uh, NVIDIA with the Quadro series and AMD with the Fire Pro. Fire Pro you'll be used to in uh, the Mac trash can, and uh, there's also a lot of other cards available from NVIDIA. But let's not forget, Intel is now uh, upping the ante with Iris Pro graphics. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, stand on my soapbox for a second and say that, that I really appreciate uh, NVIDIA. I think that, that uh, NVIDIA does a great job for me. And um, on my HP workstations, I can really stick in any gigantic card that I, I, I want and get amazing performance. I just find them um, a little bit better. So NVIDIA, for me, NVIDIA uses CUDA technology, that's their own, and uh, AMD and Intel both use OpenCL, which is an open spec. CUDA is actually a subset of OpenCL, and it was out in the wild and being used by uh, people before OpenCL was stamped and shipping in a lot of products for a long time. So what's so special about GPUs? Why is it that a GPU can calculate some things faster than a CPU? Well. Some of it has to do with parallel uh, processing. So image processing like color correction. Um, if you look at a frame of video and you, you run a color correction or a lumetry or a grade on that whole frame, you're talking about a ton of pixels. And a GPU can do all of that at one fell swoop. Bang, the whole frame. Bang, the next frame. Bang, that's what parallel processing is all about. They also have thousands of cores and they free up the CPU as I showed you in the front, the, the original uh, data flow example, and they have massive amounts of video RAM. But there are other benefits for having a GPU also. Multiple computer displays and larger displays. So um, on my uh, Quadro K6000, I can actually have four displays connected. And two of those are giant 27 inch displays. and it's no problem at all playing all of those at the same time. So that's a great benefit. So, so far I'm telling you that not everything is accelerated, but the stuff that is accelerated is wicked fast acceleration. So what are the problems of having a GPU? You wanna know what the possibility of problems are? Drivers, drivers, drivers. Drivers are an extra level of complexity between what the uh, engineers write, so they write their code here in, in something like Lumetri Accelerated Panel. Okay, they write a piece of code. That code goes right to the CPU. There's no middleman. Now they write the same thing for the GPU also. So they've got two things going on here. They write that to the GPU. Guess what? It doesn't go to the GPU. It goes to the drivers, then it goes to the GPU. Yikes. That means that if something screws up with the driver, 
then that's where things break. So a good troubleshooting tip is, let's say you just updated Premiere Pro or you updated a driver or uh, an operating system. You know the problems that, that some people had with uh, OS X Yosemite or El Capitan, there were some major uh, uh, OpenCL driver issues uh, with the cards. And if you're having problems doing that, and you need to output, like the time is ticking, why does something look wrong in Premiere Pro or Media Encoder? Turn off GPU acceleration, use software only. Because sometimes the problem is um, Premiere Pro thinks everything's okay, but the drivers are causing the issue and you can't output for whatever reason. Turn everything off, takes a little longer, but at least you get it out and you meet your deadline. Some things um, are just different when they're output on the GPU than they are the CPU. <clears throat> and, and that's just the state of things. You, you can't get away from that. But the drivers are the big, huge problem issue. And you know what? It's another reason why I like NVIDIA because they can pop out a new driver for me on the Windows platform way faster than Apple can put out an OS update or Windows can put out an OS update. Because both, um, <clears throat> well, Adobe, and Apple and Microsoft will wrap everything into a larger uh, update. They won't just say, oh, there's a driver issue, here's an update. They'll, they'll do a larger update. That's why NVIDIA can kind of scoop in real quick, throw me down an update, and I'm off and ready to go. Okay, so there's the myth. Not everything is, up, is accelerated by GPU. I know lots of people who think, hey man, I got a Mac trash can. Everything's faster. Eh, isn't. Right. That is wrong. And I wanted to make sure I checked all my facts with engineers and I guarantee that that's correct. But on the other hand, man, if you've got some powerful GPUs and you've got software that takes advantage of it, like Adobe Creative Cloud, then you're going to get massive benefits. Next, I really hope Adobe will create a, a, a H.264 GPU acceleration. It's been on the books for quite a while. I'm waiting for that one to come out. All right. Whew. So there you go. Myth dispelled. Hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully you're not uh, crying in your sake because you spent a lot on GPUs. They're still very useful. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and support us. We've got something new, and that's Patreon. If you're uh, not familiar with Patreon, you can go and support us with your monthly, um, tiny little monthly uh, patro patronage over there for us to help to keep great quality content coming in video reveal. All right, until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.